go to school and I used to hate it. But I learned a lot in school. And one of the things that we learned, how many know the history of Thanksgiving? We're going to give you guys like a five minute little recap on the history of Thanksgiving. How did Thanksgiving originate? What is the purpose for it? Why do we gather on the third month of Thursday in November every year to cook a turkey and get together and, and we all go to church? What's the reason for that? What's the reason why a turkey? What's the reason for all this? We're not going to get into the detail of the turkey tonight, maybe next year. But we're going to do a little history. What is the purpose of Thanksgiving? Amen? Then it comes to a screen, Palamande, those what you call are pilgrims. Amen? They're pilgrims. They came from England and they were under persecution because they were worshiping God. And a Catholic church, which is the English church, they call it the Angelican church, let's just say the Catholic church, they were under persecution because they didn't want to worship God in a certain way. Mudarenazle. Okay. So they went to America after America was discovered 100 or so years later in the early 17th century, 16 something, 1605, 1608, I don't remember the exact date. But at any rate, they went to America on a boat called the Mayflower. How many is in that they were actually home on this boat? They were gypsy slaves on this boat. If you actually read your history, you'll see it in the footnotes that gypsies were actually in this boat. Yes, gypsies came to America with the pilgrims. So if you didn't know, now you know. What's the importance of that? Absolutely not. Come again, Mary. I'll go Just figure out. I'll tell you. And what they did is when they touched ground at Plymouth Rock in New England, how many know where New England's at? If you know football, New England Patriots, that's where they touched mm -hmm. ground. And in the 16th something, they landed there in Plymouth Rock and they met Indians. And and Burana Lende Mule, they died. I think half of them died. There was like two, three hundred, whatever was in the boat, and half of them died of diseases and all that and they even killed some Indians because of that because of the disease that they brought from England so at any rate after one year they harvest and they brought all these harvests pumpkins uh, corn the Indians actually showed them what corn is that's where we got corn cacao indiano amen so at any rate I, I believe after one year of settlement after the harvest they harvested all their crops and stuff and they celebrated a meal and they thank God. Now, God, remember, these were Christians. They were not just normal people. They were Christians who ran away from persecution. I kind of believe in America, they met the Indians and they sat down with them and they were thanking God. And they, that's why it's called Thanksgiving. They were thanking God through Jali Odil. Amen? And that's the history of Thanksgiving. Well, in 19, I believe 1941 or I believe 31, Theodore Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln before him started celebrating Thanksgiving, but it wasn't official till 1931. Theodore Roosevelt, our president, back in 1931, celebrated the first official Thanksgiving dinner with his family in the White House. And you see Theodore Roosevelt right there carving a turkey. And ever since 1931, it became a big holiday, it became commercial. Football, 20 some odd years later, started every Thursday. Food, gathering, churches became more popular on Thanksgiving, and the rest is history. And that's the history of Thanksgiving. So why is Thanksgiving so important to the Christian today? Why is Thanksgiving so important to us today? What does Thanksgiving mean? Well, how did you have to be block, and let's find out what Thanksgiving means, amen? We got you guys the word, Thanksgiving. Pinnin' Thanksgiving. 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 Thanksgiving, me new, adoration and praise. Adoration means a deep reverence, a love for someone. Adoration, I mean, as Christians, we're supposed to love God like that, right? We're not supposed to put nothing before God. We're not supposed to put money, family, business, cars, the lust, the desires of the world, nothing. We're supposed to admonish and admire God, and we're supposed to praise Him. So that's what that's one of the words for Thanksgiving. A very good word for Thanksgiving is a Hebrew word. The word is yada. Okay, I don't want you to repeat that. Just listen. One more time, thanks is yada. Amen. I'm in pinas naistuka. Thank you. One pinin yada. So the word yada means to give thanks and bali praise. Let's go a little deeper.